Hello and welcome back to the Craft Mansion. I'm David and this week's video I'll be making the Golden Snitch from the Harry Potter franchise. Now of course this one won't fly, but this one does. some other Harry Potter videos if you would like to check them out they're over here and if you would like to see more videos like this give this video a thumbs up subscribe and ring that little bell icon down below to get notifications I better go and check if that snitch still works but I won't use my mouth to catch it that's how I did it I won't do that it barely fits in my mouth that's what she said So the main components of the snitch are basically the ball or the snitch itself and then the two wings. Now I did some research online and it turns out that this snitch is about 35 mm in diameter. A ping pong ball is 40 mm in diameter. This one, it's an official Warner Brothers prop, it's 50 mm in diameter. So halfway between like 50 and 35, this should be a good size. For the rings I'm still undecided on what to do. I started by marking all the lines found on the snitch. This looks like a man with a mustache and no nose smiling at me. Weird. I went off of various pictures to get all the angles. Of course, it's not perfect and I had to adapt the amount of lines I could actually fit since this is handmade and not 3D printed. Luckily, the design is symmetrical so I could face it through the middle and compare both sides. Once the design was finalized, I went over all the lines with a black sharpie. I had a pair of sh earphones, well actually one earphone, I had already removed one for another project. These wires are thin and flexible enough to fit into the design, so I removed the other parts and separated the two bottom wires. I tried detaching the wires with super glue and they didn't stick that well to the plastic. But the problem wasn't the glue, but the unstickiness of the plastic. Some nice scratches along the pattern did the job. It also helps if you bend the wire before attaching it. That way you don't stress the glue and it gives you crisper corners. I glued it to the very end and then cut it using my knife, making sure not to penetrate the ball. Don't penetrate any balls guys. Some wires had to be cut at an angle to fit into the other wires. This one needed a V cut to fit into the V you see on the ball. These lines at the front go in a circular motion around the ball. So, if you look at it from the bottom, they sort of look like rings. I started with the bottommost one, as this joins to the other set. I found it easier to make the parallel lines first, and then glue on the ones surrounding them. That way I wouldn't leave any gaps as the wire takes the shape created by the other's ends. Did 
this was the only time I cut the wires and before gluing it all in place. So now all the lines are done, I don't need the wire anymore and to make these beads at the top or you know the base for the wings I'm going to use these BB gun bullets with two of them and I'm never getting that back found it I shaved some plastic from one side of each bullet so that they could fit nicely on the ball Yes, it was very tricky. To make the wings, I'll be using this thin wire and then some paper in a pattern similar to this. I've already tested out some patterns and found the ideal ones. And of course, I used scrap paper. Now for the real wings, I'll be using this type of paper. I have a few sheets of it. It's not glossy, but it's smooth enough to appear reflective when sprayed with silver. I use the trial wing to get a rough cut of the paper, so as not to waste any. You don't need the step really. I measured intervals of 6mm and 2mm, repeating the pattern from one side of the paper to the other. For the other wing, I didn't have to measure the pattern again, since I could use the ones I had just drawn for the first wing, and mark the 6 and 2mm intervals. Going back to the first wing, I slightly creased the lines using the back of my knife. Even the back is a bit sharp for paper, so I had to be really careful not to cut it. Then, I folded the lines, alternating between a valley fold and a mountain fold to create the illusion of stacked feathers. Well, they're more like panels, even in the movie, but you know, wing feathers. I taped the middle of the folds down, and then I taped the edges down to the cutting mat, removing the previous piece of tape. It helps if you crease the folds with a ruler when they're in the right position. Trust me, it's a hassle trying to control it while it constantly wants to spread out. Just like Corona. Alright, I'll see myself out. I used the template I drew to trace the pattern onto the folded paper. The bottom edge needs to be straight, so I cut it while the paper was folded. The two top edges, however, need to be staggered. So, I drew two continuous lines on the unfolded paper, and then I cut them. When folded, the paper should look like this. I marked the back folds and cut them. The rings need to be sturdy, so I used a thin wire. Yes, that's all rust. Bit by bit, I super glued the folded paper to the wire. To cover the wire, I glued a strip of paper onto it. Then, I shaped the ends of the paper. Having finished the wings, I could then make the right sized hole in the BB gun bullet. I heated a thin metal rod and made a small hole. Gently, very gently, I used a drill to widen it enough to fit the wing. So now all three parts are finished, we have the two wings, and I've already sprayed the snitch itself with grey primer. Now of course this is gold, and these two are silver. Even though I let the paint dry overnight, the gold was still tacky, so I gave it a coat of Mod Podge. I also lightly sprayed some gold onto the wings. They warped a little because of the paint, but since these are wings, it didn't bother me that much. I super glued both wings to the base and made sure that from the front the feathers overlap outwards, meaning the feather closer to the base is on top of the one next to it. I bent the wings inwards and it was time to summon the seekers because the golden snitch was ready for flight. In the movies they used a real ball but then they computer generated the wings onto it. Now I don't have that kind of budget and anyways I want the wings to be visible on display like the snitch they have at the Harry Potter studios. If you would like to see more Harry Potter videos give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below with what you think I should do next. Subscribe to my channel for more videos like these 
and until next time, this is the Golden Snitch, I'm David, and this is the Craft Mansion. It seems pretty useless to play a whole game of Quidditch when catching the Snitch gives your team 150 points and ends the game. It didn't work out well for Victor Crumb though, Ireland still won, but still.